Hey there, welcome back guys. This video is for those that want to remove the calibration error on the DJI Avada 2. That's right, you wanted to calibrate the um, gimbal on your Avada 2 and apparently it's either stuck at 60%, 50% or whatever percentage it's stuck at that you just can't get it out, but it'll still fly, but it's just annoying. Um, and um, one thing is that this won't work for everyone. This will only work for those that um, have a similar experience to the predicament that caused me to have this error. So without any further ado, let's get started. Uh, I've tried everything, updated the firmware, erased everything, uh, flash this, did that, reset the goggles, erased the goggles. I tried to um, reflash the firmware, uh, that didn't work. I thought maybe um, uh, try a different battery, that didn't work. Uh, tried everything. Uh, you name it, uh, holding down the power button many times, seeing if it would do like a hard reset, um, doing it from the goggles, um, anything, anything and everything was thought of except for the one solution, which brought you to this video. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn on, uh, the, we're going to try and calibrate it and most likely we're going to, um, get the error. Okay. One second. Turn this on. You're going to need your, your, uh, goggles. You don't need the remote for this part of the video. Um, you wear glasses, hopefully you have your prescription setting uh, inside of the goggles and you want to make sure that you're recording because otherwise we'll have to do this again. All right, so we're going to turn on the goggles and I'm going to get my USB-C cable. I even tried different three or four different USB-C cables. Didn't work. Thought maybe that would work. Try the forums on Reddit, everyone's like, send it back to DJI, or um, after trying the different firmware installations, nothing. Um, but let's see what we have here. Just gonna, oh, I need my phone. So you need your phone to connect everything. And then I'm gonna push everything to my screen here so that you guys can see, turn it back on again. Maybe, maybe that'll reset it. Try that many times, okay? This is definitely gonna do it, I guarantee it. No, it's not, actually. Love that sound though. All right, there we go. It's connected and I'm going to mirror it so that you guys can see connection guide. Um, this case, because I don't have the remote and it's, it's not connected yet, just go camera view and you need that ding. That's the only downside. This is only with DJI. If you've seen my videos, it happens every single time. You need to hear that. Boo. There we go. See, and then that green thing says it's charging. Uh, recalibration recal failed. Bummer. See, and then you get this error, right? So now we're going to try and recalibrate it. Okay. Uh, it says gimbal calibration required. All right, this will do it. Let's go. So what you, you, what you're going to need is, um, these two things, uh, a glue stick and some WD 40. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it fixes everything. Hold on. We lost our connection here though. All right, there we go. So we go into our goggles and you go into settings, uh, control, and then gimbal calibration, start. Okay. And it'll make it 50. It might jump to 60. Uh, we'll see where it goes. And you can see we can't touch the drone while it's doing its thing. Uh, cause it has to be stationary, but it can be in any position. It can be in the upright position. Um, I even tried putting it in the upright position. I even tried putting it sideways to calibrate. I even tried putting it the other way to calibrate. I even tried putting it upside down, hoping gravity would um, do that. Uh, and this is, remember, this is solution. It's not going to work for everyone. Okay, so it's done. It's, it's not going to work, all right? So let's do this. Quit this. We're going to shut the drone off. And as soon as you turn it back on, it's going to tell you you got a calibration error. Um, just let it do its thing. See, drone is off might lose our connection, but it'll reboot and find itself again and connect itself to the goggles. You can tell it's off because the battery is not there. And so what we'll do is we'll turn it on and we lost our connection so that you guys can all be on the same page. Um, hold on one second. Okay, so we're back here. So we're gonna go here, see calibration failed. Um, and as you can see, no matter how many times you do it, it's not gonna work. Here's the thing, the gimbal is so light, so light that it can sense, um, maybe you've got check to see if there's dirt in there. Uh, if you've crashed, check to see if it's bent a little bit. If you crashed, I didn't crash. And um, 
I mean, sorry to put this down because I don't, I know it's going to disconnect again. Um, welcome back to everything that glitches. And so as you can see, I have the bumper, oh yeah, I have the bumper guards I have here. But there's one thing that's causing the calibration to go defunct. This thing right here. So you can't have anything on the gimbal um, that will impede the calibration process. Now, if I go into my settings, whoops, right? Uh, settings, control, gimbal calibration, start, and who would have thought? Let's see. Come on, go past 60. Please. 70. Come on, drum roll, please. Come on, you got this GGI Havana 2. Is it coming back up? Yep, there it is. 80. Almost. 90. 100. See, and there you go. Voila. Has, um, who would have thought? I thought it was, there were gremlins in there. This little, this little, whoops, um, UV protector. It's so light, but um, heavy enough for the uh, gimbal to detect it and know that the weight is off so it can't auto calibrate and go back up and come, you know, go, come back down again. Um, so, so the smallest speck of anything um, can throw the whole thing off. So you can look in between there to see if there's dirt or hopefully in this case it's your UV filter and um, that's this one here, the StarTech um, one. And that's it, you know, hopefully this this video helped you and, and better understanding on how you too um, can have a, a similar experience, if not better, when uh, trying to get the uh, calibration error to the gimbal removed. Um, and that's it. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.